Bon dia. Um, I hope everyone's doing well this morning. Um, I'm obviously American, so I'm going to be speaking in English. But if you want to want me to slow down or you have any questions, even throughout my presentation, feel free to ask. Um, it's a little bit unusual, but if anything comes up, I'd rather address your questions in the middle. So, like I said, feel free to interrupt me. Just raise your, your hand, and I'll answer any question that you have. First of all, it's an honor to be here. Um, when uh, Manuel asked me to be here, I was asked me to come. I was, you know, honored, and I'm really proud of all the work that's being done with the uh, Portuguese community here and what's being done with the uh, Port Portuguese Wikipedia. We have a very active uh, organization here, and they're doing an excellent job. So I'm glad to be a part of it. So what I'm going to do today is it's going to be a very general uh, presentation about the Wikipedia model, um, how this actually works. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the past and how we developed to this point, what the foundation actually is, and how we work with the different communities all over the world. And then a little bit about our future. Um, we've spent the last half year working on our strategic plan. And we have a draft that's actually available online at strategy.wikimedia.org. We're a very open organization, so you can see everything that we're doing, and you can always make comments, and you, positive or negative, about you know our strategy and any input that you have. We're free and open to um, listen to anything that you'd like to say to us. So first of all, this is um, what we represent. This is the Puzzle Globe. I'm sure everybody has seen this, and. Thing is, as you can see, it represents every language in the world. And what it is, is you can also see that it's always a process in development. Um, our thing is that we believe we're always under construction. So nothing is really finished. So that's why you can continually edit Wikipedia and the other projects, because fundamentally, everything changes. Knowledge changes, and we have to adapt and quickly adapt to that. And that's why, with everybody collaborating at the same time, that's what makes this a very powerful symbol. Now, Wikipedia was started by Jimmy Wales. He's the founder. Um, it was in January of 2001. And this is pretty much our motto. I mean, we really believe in building the biggest database of free knowledge that everyone can contribute to and that everyone can access. And that fundamentally, we believe, is going to make the world better. Now, Wikipedia, as you probably already know, is the largest encyclopedia in history. Um, the stats speak for itself. I mean, there are over 2 billion words, 14 million articles. The images right now, 5.7 million. Those are increasing very rapidly at this moment. We have over 4,500 new articles a day. Um, we're in over 250 languages. And there's been over 1 billion edits on all the projects. So you can see how this is such a massive um, information database that everyone can use. Now, Wikipedia and the sister projects as a website and how it ranks worldwide, we're number five. So you can see all the. Um, other usual suspects, Google, uh, Microsoft, Yahoo, and Facebook are the only websites that are bigger than us. And you have to also think about, we really, all we do is information. I mean, all these other sites at the top, you know, they offer email, e-commerce, other services. We're, all we are is information. And the other thing is, if you look at the other sites, we're the only site that's a nonprofit. So you can think about our global collaboration model. Um, Google has, what is about 20,000 employees, Microsoft 80,000. Um, Facebook, even compared to us, they have you know 1,200 employees and they're probably hiring about 30 a month. We have 35 employees right now, which I'll get into a little bit later, but that shows you that really what we are about is making sure that we work with the entire world. We're just facilitators. And people like in the Portuguese community, I mean, they're really the ones that are driving you know, the success of this website. And just to give you another perspective in terms of information sites, which I just briefly mentioned, is that obviously this is just English, but if you look at all the other information sites, New York Times, CNN, BBC News, 
um, and so forth, you can see that their growth is pretty limited compared to what's happening with Wikipedia right now. And if you take all of those websites combined, all of them combined, they're actually smaller than Wikipedia, all of them. That just shows you how much scale that we have. And this is pretty interesting too, because what I like, what we really like about the projects is that even though they're scalable and they have a lot of similarities, they're actually also very distinct and unique for each language. So each community actually develops things differently and the way people access the sites and what the information I'm looking for is quite different. So, you know, we look through our data logs and you can actually see um, how people use the website. And this isn't reflective of the content that's in the site. This is actually how people use it. And you can see that for, in Spanish, for example, um, people accessing science and technology is, is roughly 40% of the hits there. Where in Japan, you have a very distinct anomaly where most people access it, you know, looking for pop culture information. So you can see there's a different variance in terms of the way people perceive and use Wikipedia, and it has a very distinct tone depending on what language um, you see it in. Now, the foundation itself is Wikimedia, and it's a little bit different from how we perceive Wikipedia, and then Wikipedia is actually a project. All of these are projects, really. And what we do is we try to find the best way that people can collaborate, you know, in, in providing different information and accessing it. Wikipedia obviously is an encyclopedia, but then you get into wiki books, which are online books, um, wiki quote, which is quotes that people collaborate on. Wikiversity obviously is something that's wor a work in progress, but it's more of an online collaborative university. So all of these projects really are different takes of our model and making that a global collaboration effort. Now specifically talking about uh, Portuguese, it started in June 2001, so it was actually the fifth Wikipedia that was launched. So it was launched relatively early, just a few months after the English version. Um, right now uh, it has 560,000 articles. So according to most statistics, if you have about 200,000 articles, you're a full encyclopedia. So this is really a, a pretty phenomenal um, project, just this language, but it could, be, it could be bigger. And I think the Portuguese community is working very um, effectively in actually growing the articles. And there was a time period, I've actually talked to different people, both in uh, Brazil and in Portugal, and the Portuguese site actually was much, I think it was ranked in the fifth or sixth largest website in Wikipedia just a couple years ago, and there was an active effort made by the communities to grow this language. And the fact that it is ninth, I don't think is actually um, negatively reflecting the Portuguese community. It just shows that all the other communities are, are really growing rapidly, like in Poland and France, Japan. But we think there's gonna be a renewed effort here. But I mean, this is a fabulous uh, reflection of how this language itself is very powerful and a lot of people are using it. Now, this is a question that I get asked a lot. What is the Wikimedia Foundation? And, you know, we are established as a not-for-profit charity, and there's a lot of reasons behind this. I mean, we don't want to have advertising on our site. We really want to make sure that this is a project for the people and by the people. And so having us form as a nonprofit charity, that really allows us to make sure that, you know, we don't sell out people know that this is going to be around for as long as it needs to be around. And it really is a community-based project. The other thing that's really a focus for us is that we're global. I mean, you could see that from the statistics before. So we're as relevant as we are in Portugal, as India, Japan, Sweden. We really want to make sure that, you know, this site and our community um, works together worldwide. And we have different events like coming up in uh, Poland this year, Wikimania, where a lot of our communities will get together and be able to meet and discuss and collaborate on different topics. So in terms of the foundation, you know, what we really focusing on in trying to push these projects is reach. And so we want to make sure that everybody in the world has access, access, accessibility to this. 
participation, and we're trying to grow that a lot more so more people can input their ideas and their knowledge into the database, and quality. And, you know, there's been a lot of discussions about quality, you know, is Wikipedia reliable? And there's, a, and there's many studies that really back that up. Even starting back in 2005, Nature magazine compared uh, Encyclopedia Britannica to uh, the articles in Wikipedia. And they took a subset of these articles that were in um, science. And really what happened was they found that this is even back in 2005, 2006, that the quality of articles in Wikipedia are pretty much on par with the existing Encyclopedia Britannica. Um, they said the number of edits or the number of errors, excuse me, in Encyclopedia were about ratio of three to every 1,000 articles. Ours was four, just slightly higher. But the length and detail of our articles um, vastly surpassed that of Britannica. And that was just a few years ago. I mean, HP Labs has done a different study about how collaboration, the more people that are involved in creating an article, actually makes it much more credible and increases the quality. So and part of what we're doing in the foundation is we're reaching out to different communities, going to universities, other organizations, and getting them involved in collaborating and contributing to the site. And we have a new project that's going to be launching pretty soon where you know, we're working with different universities on public policy articles. And we're trying to create more material we can scale out to the rest of the world so they know how to contribute to Wikipedia and get the most out of their experience from that. Now the foundation, in terms of our position, we are just facilitators. We're not editors. So all the power that you know, in terms of the knowledge that's being contributed to that is people like you know, the, and people in the Portuguese chapter. What we really do is try to provide the infrastructure, tools, and processes to make sure that the people of the world can contribute to this encyclopedia phenomenon. So like I said, we only have 34 staff. So we really have to engage all of the world to make sure that they're involved. So our volunteer force is 100,000, and those are, when I say 100,000, those are really active editors. An active editor makes about five edits per month, at least. And we have 360 million users per month. And this is according to Comscore, which I'll get into in later, but you know, according to our data logs, it's much, much higher. And our budget to actually accomplish this is a little less than $10 million. So if you think about how other websites operate, I mean, this could be the amount of money they spend in a week, possibly even a day. I mean, we really do leverage our resources to the max and make sure that we're as efficient as possible. So if you look at what we're working with, the impact that we have is, is pretty amazing. And a lot of it really has to do with the people of the world that come together to make this a very powerful project. So our foundation is located, we just moved um, to a different office in San Francisco. Um, we really just occupy one floor, right here, the third floor. And there's about 25 people in that office. Um, the other 10 people are scattered worldwide. You would have like one person in Australia, a couple people in uh, um, Holland. And really, you know, it's pretty distributed in the way we work. But pretty much that's it. That's the Wikimedia Foundation. And this is an inside look of uh, the offices. I mean, as you can see, you know, there's not really much there. I mean, most of our work is being done outside of the office. And so in terms of our structure, um, we have a board of trustees and we have 10 members of the board. We just um, announced a new board member from India. Um, we try to have a, as much of a diverse population as possible in, in building up an advisory board and our board of trustees. And our staff is kind of divided into fundraising. I think it's a little bit hard to see. Programs and outreach, and that's what I talked about. You know, we have communications, our, um, people working in public outreach, creating educational materials. Administration, obviously we would need people you know, to take care of finances and so forth so that we're operable. Technology, which obviously is a big part. I'd say half of our staff is focused on technology. And usability, so a subsection of technology is trying to make sure that experience for contributors where it's gonna be easier for people to add more information and edit is um, meeting you know, global standards 